You are now locked in to the shutdown show with D Rhymes. D Rhymes. Yes, indeed, people. It's your boy from the borough, D Rhymes, and this is the shutdown show. Doing it like this every single Friday, seven to ten p.m. And on my show today, we've got my guy Lowry. CEO and creator of everything Lowry in the building. What are you saying, Cuzzy? Jeez, that has a nice ring to it. CEO. Yeah? CEO. CEO. <laughs> creator. Chief officer. Wait, C- Chief Executive Officer. Is that what it is? Yeah, I like that. Yeah? I all like right. that. Okay. What are you saying, Cuzzy? <laughs> How you been? I've been all right, man. I've been good. It's a long time since I've been here, you know? It is a long time. It is a long time. <laughs> You dipped off to Rinse FM. You know, Carl, you know, this is my man like Larry dipped off to Rinse FM. But you know what? I'm very happy for you, Cuzzy. You know what? I yeah. heard I heard your um your speech that you did like the other week and a tear came down my cheek. I was like, no, thank you very much. Man. Yeah, I appreciate that. My guy. I, <laughs> my guy. I appreciate you know what? I appreciate the grind. Yeah. I've been seeing you doing your thing. Just tell the people right now, my lovely West Side is locked into the shutdown show. Who you are and what you do and what everything Larry everything Larry is about, Cuzzy. Yeah, so um, I am a movie reviewer, TV reviewer, uh, latest news in TV and film. I also mm. interview people in the industry too, and um, yeah, it's basically I created everything Lowry. Lowry's my nickname that everyone calls me, mm-hmm. and it's basically everything that I'm into. So I don't share what other people what other people are into. I share what I'm like, you know, what I'm about, like. Yeah. Given, showing my personality on my social media platforms and uh, it started off as like a you know like people coming to me like for, like my, my circle first circle of friends saying yo what what film should I watch or what Netflix should I watch hmm. and then from there it just kind of like grew and then grew and then grew and then now it's turned into like an actual brand that people come to yeah. to get the latest and greatest news and reviews for TV and film including myself Including myself, whenever I need to know what's going on with films and Netflix and stuff, I come to you, Cuzzy. Oh, thank I you very much. Do. I appreciate that. I've got my followers that actually come on your Twitter page as well. Yeah, um, yeah and I see that. You know, they 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 trust your judgment. And even when you're negative about a film, yeah, we, people still take it in, bro. Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, you know? you know, I know it might come across as like my my reviews, like the like you know the review that you have to listen to but you know film and tv is all about different opinions Mm, and um you know i just give opinion on mine and so far a lot like my following's grown and like people are actually dming me and messaging me and helping me out so yeah it's working yeah good stuff (laughs) man that's good that's good that's good um what has been a memorable memorable event for you recently what have you done Cause I see you at screenings, bro. <laughs> I do, I really do, man. I see you busy. I follow you. You know, you're my guy, but I've seen you real busy. Yeah. So recently, mm. like I'm called Lowry from the Bad Boys character, okay. Mike Lowry. Lowry, aka Will Smith. Okay. Uh, and I got invited to the Aladdin screening, the early one. Mm-hmm. Now, what was weird about this was I picked a day. Uh, I picked Wednesday to go on uh, the early screening of last week. Yeah. And I didn't get the tickets. I was upset. I was like, oh man, I, I, I didn't get them. And then Thursday, just chilling. Yeah. Look at my phone and I get like an email pop up. Oh, okay. you've got tickets for the Aladdin screening. Please confirm. I was like, oh my days. Yeah. So quickly, obviously got them. Next day now, watch the film. Can't talk about it yet because I'm on, on, under NDA, but my review will be out next week. Okay watch the film and after the film the um, event organizers were like yo come we've got a special thing for you okay so you walk into the park now this is in leicester square and uh there's a big genie lamp so will smith plays the genie in aladdin okay so there's a big genie lamp so i'm thinking okay cool we're, we're about we're going to take pictures next to the lamp and you know use it for social media to try and gas the film up even mm. more but I soon realised that we were part of the crowd that weren't allowed into the centre. So there was already people in there that were got lucky enough to take photos next to the lamp. Yeah. So one person comes up, takes a photo, and then you hear Will Smith's voice. But it's from it's, it's quotes from the film. Okay. And then more people got, more people got, and then out of nowhere you hear, "That's a nice bag you got." And yeah. like, everyone turns around like, "Huh?" Like that wasn't in the film. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Nah, Will Smith." Will Smith's not here. Like we would know if he was here. More people go up, and he, and and different. He starts naming different things. Oh, you got nice shoes. Oh, nice sunglasses. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, out of nowhere, Will Smith 
pops out. Madness. Like, I'm standing, like, looking at Lowry, like, in front at of the me. the original Lowry, big like, Lowry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, cra- it was it's, it's crazy. Like, that's one of my idols, man. I've grown up yeah. on him. And, and watching that, sorry, watching the film, the f- and then seeing him straight after the film, yeah. uh, it, was, it was amazing. And that's one of my biggest highlights, I'd say, so like, so far. Are you, a, are you allowed to tell the listeners whether or not he smashed it, the role? Of course. Um, yeah. Yeah? That's what I'm going to say, yeah. Okay, so no he more. He killed it. Okay, cool. I cool. know <laughs> <laughs> uh, about them, uh, them, uh, them NDAs there. Yeah. Wicked. That's good, man. That's, so you've seen, that's, bro, that's A list. That's A, A list, man. That's like, when you're seeing, you know what? It's different when you're seeing your idols in, in the flesh. And when you're seeing man like Will Smith pop out of nowhere, that's crazy, man. You must have... Were you starstruck? That's the first time that I've proper been like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I couldn't stop smiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I, I look to my left, I look to my right, and I'm still smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, other people are like, will, will, trying to get photos with him. I'm just like, I'm standing there thinking, that's, that's loud. That's, Bro, I, that's, if I, that's, that's, that's Fresh Prince. That's all these things exactly, going through my head. Exactly that. Everything's going to start popping up. So Everything that he's done is just going to yeah. start popping up. And the thing, he's a cool guy like exactly how you see him on his social media yeah. and his youtube videos yeah. he's like that in person yeah. and like he had like 50 like at least 10 phones as soon as he came out like 10 phones were right in the middle of his face I, if that was me i would have been like move <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but he was like happy he even took the phone off them to get a proper angle for the photos you know what another person that another person that done that um was when i met anthony joshua a very humble guy yeah done the exact same thing um he came to where i was working previously and um, took my phone, took a picture. You know what? Honestly, them, them, them celebrities and them, you know, them, them public figures like that that do that, wicked. Mate, yeah, I love that. Like, I, yeah, I love that as well because I've met some people in the industry and they just move. Like, funny. Yeah, they just move funny. Yeah. And it's just like, come on, man. Like, you're, <laughs> it yeah. doesn't. I know. I, and the thing is, I know it's. I know it must be annoying. Like every minute you walk, you can I get a photo? Can I? Yeah. But you know, you you signed up you for signed that. Up you for signed it. up exactly, for it, bro, and it's exactly yeah. that. It's so, exactly that. And that, that's not just actors. That's music people. That's yeah, people in higher positions. Like the ego just needs to drop, man. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Keep it humble, man. Yeah, man. Apart from that, bro, what else is happening? What's hot? What's hot right now for the people to go and see coming up in the cinema real soon? So I got three things that people must be watching right now. The Let's first one is on Netflix. Mm-hmm. So these for the Netflix and chillers. But this ain't this ain't a thing to Netflix and chill. This is actually something that I've to like, actually watch. To actually watch. <laughs> <laughs> and also like <laughs> I've become more conscious after watching this documentary. Yeah. So it's called Our Planet. Have okay. you heard of it? Yeah, I, do you know what? I saw the trailer the other day. Yeah. I love that, bro. Yeah. I love that. Everything to do with nature and everything like that yeah. is so, so dope. Sir, I love it. Sir David Attenborough is narrating it. The legend. The legend. The legend. The go to sleep voice. Bro, like, you know, if you <laughs> if he was a headmaster at a school, like everyone, yeah. no, there'll be no detentions. Well, there'll be no assembly because <laughs> everyone's knocking out. <laughs> everyone's leaving. But yeah, so this is uh, from the same creators of Planet Earth, Frozen Planet and the Blue Planet. Sick. So that was on BBC. Those were like A star uh, TV programs, and it does show nature and and stuff like that, like it has done on the previous BBC shows. Yeah. But what is different about this is showing what we're doing to the Earth as humans: okay. plastic waste, yeah. uh, CO two gases, and all of that stuff. Yeah, and it's basically narrating the damage that we've been doing. And if we don't soon, you know, change in the next twenty years, they're mm. saying we could like we could drastically change the earth for for good like there's no turning back um one of the key um highlights that i picked up from the documentary was since the 1960s 70 percent of borneo has been deforested what's which that is, uh, borneo is uh, an island in indonesia oh okay oh man and 70 percent of that island is gone it's gone deforested wow. and that's gone to like you know building tables and chairs yeah. and, and other stuff for for the for building but it's crazy like with the, they're taking and they're not replenishing the the trees and so stuff. how many how many years do you think that until you know like if they keep but they said 20 they said within 20 years if we keep at the rate that we're going when we're, we're going to make some changes that cannot be changed in the next 20 years so the reason why i say for people to watch this it's an eye opener it, it opens up a side that we don't Mm. necessarily see every day and obviously electric cars and all of that stuff would you in. would you say it's 100 percent factual when you're watching it yeah are you are you, are yeah. you believing it yeah yeah i mean okay, the series good. took four years to to make wow four years yeah. to make that's what? that's crazy yeah one scene took 20 minutes to film and the, 
the guys have been they were waiting for three weeks just for that one scene <laughs> Three weeks. Three weeks just for like a bit, a little bit of footage. So they put their work in, and I, I would say that for, to put that amount of work in, they're not yeah. going to be telling no lies. So definitely watch that. Cool, man. Hit, him up, hit us up with another one. Next one, we've got a Sky Atlantic for the Sky Atlantic. Users. Okay. Uh, it's called Chernobyl. It's a five episode mini series yeah. depicting <clears throat> the events of the unfortunate Chernobyl disaster. Okay. That happened in the 1960s. And basically, the events after. Um, them of trying to clean it up mm. obviously some conspiracy theories included in there i'm not going to spoil it okay but um yeah really good tv series what, what's what's your lowry rating on that i'm giving it i'm giving it a must watch this is a lowry choice must watch like definitely four out of five so far yeah okay dope man, get, lowry five. gave you guys a four out of five yeah. man you gotta trust it this guy is not lying he's definitely yeah. one to watch the stuff and give you good advice so that that's on sky atlantic yeah and then the big boy that came out this week tell me John Wick 3. Oh, <laughs> buddy. So have you seen any of the John Wicks? Bro, have I seen any of the John Wicks? I love John Wick, bro. Number one, sick. Number two, left me on the craziest edge. I can't wait to watch number three. I'm done. That's the, uh, if whatever film's coming out right now, yeah. that's what I want to go and see 100%. Yeah, bro, this, you know, what's that ad lib on um, Russ's track? Was that cry, <laughs> cry. That was all that was going through my head. <laughs> Watching the whole film, that was yeah. all that was going through my head. Yeah. This is a film you have to take, you have to leave your brain at home yeah. and you go and watch it just for the action. Bro, the action, man. And, Even the number two. And how many ways can he kill someone um, and how he gets out of a, an impossible situation. Yeah. It's like a video game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Halle Berry's in it. Lawrence Fishburne returns as Sick. well. She's great. Halle Berry is, yeah. she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, yeah. She does well in it. And so, uh, it basically follows the events of John Wick 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whoever's seen it, uh, he does something in John Wick 2, which makes the whole organization that he's in go against him. So he's got a $14 million bond on his hand, uh, head, sorry. Bro. And he's running away from everyone. I saw that in the cinema. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. And I've seen it about three, four, maybe five times since. Yeah. Sick. Can't this, wait to watch it. This is, a four, this is a four out of five, straight. Yeah? Yeah, straight. You're not, you're not pushing it to a five? Nah. Okay, cool. But it's a four out of five. Cool. And you'll enjoy it. And Keanu Reeves is still Keanu Reeves. Oh man, he's just the guy. He's the guy in it. Oh my god. He's gosh. just the guy. Bro. Anything he does is yeah. just wicked. Absolutely smashing it. I see. I see you on the social medias watching uh, Game of Thrones, bro. Everyone listening right now, I've joined your Game of Thrones cult. I should have done it ages ago, bro. <laughs> I love it. I'm on season three, episode five. I know I'm. I know I got yeah. way so much more to watch, but I'm literally doing like five episodes a night, quickly trying to catch up, yeah. bro. It is sick. I don't know. I'm, I I slap myself on my knee <laughs> for not watching it, man. Earlier, honestly, so sick, but so sick. Season eight just hasn't been it, bro. Really? Yeah, it hasn't. It's it's not hit the levels that they've hit before. I'm not going to ruin anything for you, but yeah, yeah. I, the last episode on Monday, I was very disappointed. I kept seeing people saying it's trash. Yeah, I. I I thought that episode for Game of Thrones level was trash. It would like it's not trash, but yeah. for their quality of at work, yeah. You're not you're not the um you're not the first one that actually said that episode wasn't all that. Honestly, a lot of people were not happy with that last episode yeah, of Game of Thrones. It wasn't good. It was and obviously having Endgame like a couple of weeks before, which absolutely <sighs> killed it. Like we're thinking, all right, the torch has been passed from. I know you can't compare them, but yeah, yeah. You know they're two of the biggest franchises that we've had in the last ten years. So Endgame killed it. Pass yeah. the torch to Game of Thrones. All they had to do was use Saint Bolt it to the end. That's all they had to do. Bro, Endgame was sick. Yeah, Endgame, man. Endgame was another level. And you know what? All you spoilers on Instagram need to be <laughs> sentenced to life in prison. Because I did see a spoiler, you know. I was scrolling down World Star. Yeah. And I saw a comment and it was just it was just literally a spoiler, full stop. Oh. And I was like, no, man, no. I just honestly, man, I was so gutted. But if you ain't seen Endgame, people, please watch it. Would you say they have to watch Infinity, Infinity yeah, War? Yeah, 100%. Ha have to watch Infinity War and then go and watch Endgame. Yeah. Bro, you know what? It's been so good to see you doing your thing, man. Likewise I'm very, very you, man. proud of you. I'm very proud of you, bro. I see you everywhere. You're pushing. We've got about a couple minutes until we shut off. Yeah. Tell people where they can find you right now. Where's your social media, bro? So I've actually recently launched my website. Of so course. everything everything is just in one everything. <laughs> 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 everything is in one place. Yeah. Everything Lowry.com. Yeah. Lowry is spelled L-O-W-E-R-Y. Mm -hmm. That has my Twitter on there, my Instagram. I've got a Facebook page. 
YouTube channel. Yeah. All of it's on that website. I always have the latest movie reviews on a weekly, daily basis. And uh, yeah, if anyone, any, if anyone's seen anything, hit me up. Yeah, hit me up on the social media, man. I'm, I'm active. What about your Instagram and Twitter? Instagram is everything Lowry. Everything's everything Lowry. But All one. The Twitter's got. Oh, the Twitter. Uh, yeah, yeah. See yeah. how I know you better than you know yourself. Come <laughs> the on, cuz. The Twitter handle is spelled L W R Y instead yeah. of L O W E R because there wasn't enough characters in that. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter snakes me. Twitter but yeah, snakes everything L W R Y. That's on Twitter. Instagram is L O W E R Y. And yeah, the website is L O W E R Y. So. And what are you most. What is Lowry looking out for? this year mostly what other film coming out next is something that you can't wait to watch we've got lion king mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to godzilla godzilla's coming out godzilla yeah Ooh. godzilla the new one the new one before he fights king kong wow yeah it's gonna dope, be crazy dope, dope. crazy um lion king i said that already yeah um what's up what else star wars i'm seeing how they're gonna because that's the last one in the whole trilogy of the, the new. whole thing yeah this is the last star yeah. wars wow okay so, when's um, that coming out that comes out in december so December. I'm looking forward to because I didn't like the one before. So hopefully they don't do a Game of Thrones and and, <laughs> and ruin a good trilogy. So uh, say no more. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being locked in. I have been your boy from the Borough D Rams. This is the Shutdown Show. I will see you guys next week, Friday, 7 to 10 p.m. Shutting it down every single time. You can catch this video and interview with my guy, Larry, on my YouTube forward slash D-R-Y-M-E-Z. You guys have a fantastic Friday. Look after yourself and let's get it, man. The Shutdown Show with D-Rose. D-Rose. Westside.